In 2021, I redid 52 playing cards in 52 days. In 2022, I'm redoing all of those because I think I've improved. My skill set's better. I had just started into this mixed media world in 2021. So I think I have a little more to offer this time around. And probably 2023 will be even better yet. But here's, here's the caveat for 2022. I filmed four cards completely out of frame. So I'm redoing the ace, the two, the three, and the four. So here's the redo of the redo. My name is Peg. My channel, Two Old Crows. I hope you'll take a moment, subscribe to my channel. I like to experiment, explore, kind of all over the place. If you like that type of behavior, hit that subscribe button. And of course, that notification bell will let you know when I upload additional content. Thumbs up, help promote my channel across YouTube. Let's get started on the redo of the redo. Payne's Gray paint on the gel press. I'm going to lay the stencil down and grab a piece of paper to catch or pull out all of the paint that is in the open spaces, leaving the mask. I'm going to let that dry a bit and come back over that with some gold. This is a metallic gold. Now we'll lay down a sheet of paper. Make sure we're in good contact. Pull that up. And there is, I think, what we shall use as a background for this two of diamonds. Come in with just a little bit of pearl essence. Another stencil. And we'll just add a little bit of shimmer on top of that. So there you go. Now I think I'm happy with that. So I want to put that on the card now, and as you know, this is the redo of the redo of the Two of Diamonds, so I'm going to glue this card exactly where I want this paper to adhere, which will allow me the opportunity to take my tear ruler and expose that denomination of that card. So I'm going to just make sure we're in good contact. Trim the outside edges. And now I'm going to take the tear ruler and just tear across diagonally on the card to expose that two of diamonds. And there we go. And now, of course, we need we need the heart. So there's the first redo that I did, and I patchworked that with different um, embossing folders. But I'm going to go the lazier route on this one. So I'm cutting a heart out of a little piece of white cardstock paper. I'm just going to freehand my heart. Well, it's a little too big, so let me trim it down just a bit. There we go. And let's add some color to that heart. I'm going to go with the purple. Add some drywall tape to create a little bit of interest. 
And there's my purple heart with the little tiny squares created by the drywall tape. Now I'll come back in with some gold and grab a stencil. <clears throat> Excuse me. And lay that heart into that gold paint. And there. I think that creates a pretty nice looking little heart. I'll just clean the plate. Set that off to the side. And let's decide what we're going to do with this thing. So let me dry it so I have a dry piece to work with. And it fits nice on there, but it just doesn't have any pizzazz, no pop. We need to add something to just create a little bit more interest. So I took it off to my Big Shot and rolled some little hearts in it. So now we have some dimension to it. And I do like that. And I probably could have stopped there. That would not have been bad. It would have been a quick, simple card that, you know, was nice enough. But I just couldn't stop fussing with it. So I thought about it. I thought about stopping here. And I've been doing the asymic writing. Uh, you know, on a couple of books that I did. So I took my embossing pen and just did some asymic writing across the heart. And then I took that black magic embossing powder where I had written that, which is a like a clear ink, and shook that over that heart and then embossed Black Sparkle is what it's called. I keep calling it Black Magic. And and then I just kind of emboss some of that asymmetric writing. Now, whether that adds anything or not, I don't know. But it, I wanted to give it a shot. So now I am backing it with some cheesecloth, poking a hole in the center, and I will be attaching it to the card with a little brad. And now I'm just fraying that cheesecloth to give it a little more interest around the outside edge and have that kind of tattered and torn look. And I noticed that I put it on upside down. <laughs> so I have my asymmetric writing on the inside, which is not a bad thing. You know, I don't think it looks bad that way. So we'll call this the reversible, reversible heart. And I am going to pull it off and, and uh, ink around it and, and put it back on with the asymmetric writing on the front. But I thought that was kind of funny that I, when I put it together, I thought it looked better plain. So we'll just ink around that heart and, and put it back in once again. And there you have it, the completion of the redo of the redo of 2022. So I am trying to be more cognizant of being in frame when I, when I film. And I am getting better, so just bear with me. But these are the three hearts that were done, one in 2021, two in 2022. There's that asymmetric writing. Thank you for bearing with me through this redo of the redo of the redo. We'll get there and I'll get caught up. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for, if you haven't, please do. And the thumbs up, of course, help promote my channel and your comments I enjoy so much. So please keep those coming. Bye for now.